Have you ever played with in-painting and stable diffusion and thought to yourself, oh, I wish this could be ever so much better? Well, your wishes have been granted because now it is, thanks to the Stable Diffusion version 1.5 checkpoint fine-tuned for in-painting. Okay, so let's have a quick look at what we need to get this running. Now, it, it isn't really SD 1.5, it's just what Run, Run by ML have called it. Now, these links are, of course, down in the description. Don't forget to click that little arrow and then more, and then you can see the entire description and all the links that are down there. So you go over to this GitHub repository, github.com runway ml stable diffusion. Then down in the in painting with stable diffusion section, you will see this link here, checkpoint fine tuned for in painting. Click on that, that will take you over here. And here you can see these were trained on the stable diffusion version 1.2 checkpoint. But when you go over to files and versions and, and things there, SDV 1.5 checkpoint is the one you want to download. So like I say, it calls it 1.5, but it's really just a fine tuned version of 1.2. Okay, so download that, put that into your stable diffusion models directory for automatic 11.11, and then you can load the checkpoint. Now, the support for this checkpoint hasn't yet been merged into the master branch, but there is a pull request. So you will need to do this first, unless it has been merged into the master the branch as of making this video it hasn't as yet so i did this git fetch origin pull 3192 that's the magic number you need and i have called my local branch runway test i then did git checkout runway test and then i'm running that with that pull request with a special support for sd 1.5 if you do ever want to switch back just do git checkout master anyway with the uh, the runway test uh, branch enabled do run your web ue as normal just start that up however you do it and then you will have support for the sd 1.5 in painting checkpoint so let's get into this we'll start generating a picture doing some in painting see what happens all right so here we go we've got a lady with white roses in her hair now as we know of course white is completely the wrong color for roses photograph of a red rose that's what we want we need roses to be red so let's just switch back to the original sd 1.4 model and we'll have a go with that just so that we can see how the in painting works in comparison so i've just masked out those roses and i am going to change a few configuration options down here i'm going to do masked content original i'm going to in paint at full resolution I'm going to pump the steps up a little bit. I'm also going to change the guidance scale and I'm going to change denoising strength to the maximum one. Okay, so let's see what happens. Photograph of a red rose with the default SD 1.4. Okay, we've got a nice red rose there, but this hair looks a bit funny, doesn't it? Let's do exactly the same thing with the SD 1.5 and we'll see if this can do any better. Will we get a nice red rose? Will the hair still be a little bit weird? Or will this checkpoint specialised for in-painting actually do a much better job? Well, hold on to your papers because there it is. It has done a much better job. That is an absolutely fantastic rose and the hair looks brilliant as well. Now, if you want to learn even more nerdy rodent geekery, then you can click on one of these two videos.